What's up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode 3 of K Return of the Kings. And yo, this episode was fantastic. I enjoyed this episode a lot. So good. Awesome. Alright, let's get to the review, shall we? So, with this episode of K Return of the Kings, let's get straight to it. Shiro? The Silver King, the Eternal King, the First King is back and he's taking over. Bro is back, yes! yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy the Silver Clan is back together. Oh, yes, that's, that's great. That's great. It's been too long. I'm so glad they're back. They're family. Oh man, really, really happy about that. Really happy, okay? Like, let's go, man. Okay, now let me backtrack. <laughs> I just had to get that part out of the way, man. Okay, so let's talk about Jungle, the Green Clan, okay? So, I believe we have just met the Green King. The king that is supposedly no one has ever seen before within the clan. It seems that the top members, and there were three of them, because they're like the top members, they're able to see the king. And the king, of course, you know, he calls the shots and stuff. But for some reason, he has himself in like a full-on straitjacket or like, bodysuit thing like it's like a full-on straight bodysuit that's what that thing is i don't know what's going on with that but dude's creeping me out okay and he mentioned about this name he's like keep this girl alive and then uh yukari he used to still like he he like fought neko and he's just like no my boss said to keep you alive and to bring you to him and then she's all like what? Because, like, you, Yukari, like, mentioned the, the, the name that his boss said. And Neko's all like, what? And then he's all like, oh, you don't know? Okay, then. What? 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 What is going on here? Did Neko used to have some sort of regular human life? What's up with that? That's interesting. Ooh, I need to know more about that. There's something that I found out last week. If you remember last week, I was complaining how we didn't have any backstory on Anna, so it was very hard for me to care about her because they made her so incredibly important, but I could not care about her because I don't know anything about her. Unfortunately, you have to read all source material or like various source material of K to understand more about the characters and I was pretty disappointed with that because at that point Go Hands which is the studio that you know makes K at that point they're not caring about the fans they're caring about money and stuff and of course you know you need money but there are some studios who know how to balance that out so it's like what Really? You're doing this for the money? Come on, guys. Come on. I understand K is a pretty expensive project and all, but I don't know. They, they care more about the money, so I didn't, I didn't really like that. I just had to mention that for a quick second, all right? So, let's go. K, Return of the Kings, is going in. Can't wait to see what else happens. And, you know, that fight is still going on between... Fushimi, Yata, and what's that kid's name? Uh, Sunako, I believe, who's the top top of jungle. So it's like, yo, what's gonna happen here? Yata and Fushimi working together. I love K, man. It's going in, and I'm having so much fun. Literally, let's go. Give me episode four. Also, quick thing, I love the ending so much, man. I got I can't wait for the full version. I need the full version of that ending, man. 
It's too good. My favorite ending of the fall season, straight up. Mm -mm. <laughs> Nothing comes close to it. Alrighty, so catch later as I review Noragami Arugoto. Let's go. I'm your female otaku. Sayonara.